Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. I'm hoping you guys are all having a fantastic day. So today's video is going to be a episode on how will a cold spring impact this winter. So I know I've been making many of these videos about how will a cold summer, how will a wet summer, how will a cold July, why this pattern, you know, all these videos, they're, uh, <sighs> <clears throat> answering, sorry about that. They're answering all the questions to, you know, it's not even answering the question. It's just speculation. It's, uh, you know, it's more than speculation, but it's less than a forecast because it's, I mean, it's analog, so it's data and it's part of an outlook that I will be making on much later on in terms of winter outlook, probably within a month, maybe. Uh, no sooner, I don't think. But, uh, you know, it's 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 just speculation. And this time, the difference is it's how will it cold spring. I did a how will it cold summer. Now it is how will it cold spring impact this winter. So, uh, we, I'll show you this. I'll just get into this. So, for 2019-2020, that's obviously the winter that will be under effect. Before we dive further into this video, however, I would really like to ask you guys to consider subscribing to this channel it um it helps me gauge basically whether you guys are enjoying these videos or you are not um you could also leave a nice comment i love answering your comments i mean i, I think i do a fairly good job of replying to most comments um maybe a few get away but uh i really try replying to all my comments so uh, feel free to leave a nice comment let's get into this so this is a analog that uh again uh, it's uh, people if you want Never mind. Okay, so this is an analog for the month of March 2019, and that is obviously this year, this March, and you can see it was fairly chilly across most of the country, and, you know, astronomically, uh, the spring does not start till the March 21st, but I decided to do it meteorologically, obviously, since this is about the weather, so uh, spring starts March 1st, ends June 1st, and June 1st, is when uh, summer <clears throat> summer starts. So you could see that uh, it was cold, especially across the north. Maybe a little bit warmer across the Four Corners area. Now this is April, and you could see uh, there was a big anomaly over in the north, but generally started warming up, especially across the west and the east. However, guys, I think this is a little bit skewed because most of the month was fairly, um, or I should say, there was a lot of cold shots. And those produce quite a bit of snow. I mean, we almost had our record snowiest April in Chicago. And you can see it's still marked as above average. So, you know, it doesn't do justice because most of the month was really chilly. It's just a couple warm days came out and they were like in the 80s and 70s. So they really skewed the anomalies. But um, that's how the April of this year looked like. And sorry if you can't see that. I'll try extending it. Oh, no, never mind. That's useless. So uh, let's go on to May of 2019. And many obviously remember that this was, uh, you know, didn't happen long ago. Long ago at all. And you could see May 2019. It was very chilly. I mean, the anomalies are fairly significant. Negative 4 uh, Celsius of difference from average, which is uh, fairly fairly big. I mean, you could see that a lot of Arizona and uh, Arizona seem to be, it's kind of these three spots. You could see Arizona, uh, Nebraska, South Dakota, Wyoming, and then here up in the north. But overall, just very, very chilly weather. Warm across the southeast. If you recall, there was a heat wave that was going on across the southeast, and you can see that it really reflects on its anomaly. I mean, it was fairly, uh, fairly, fairly warm, if not, you know, extremely warm across the south this year, across May. So this is what, um, you know, I didn't show you the March through May of the 2019, which I should have done. I am sorry, but for some reason, I did not show you the March through May of 2019. I already made this uh, the whole slideshow presentation, and I realized that I didn't include that. And I was like, darn it, I should have done that. But I didn't want to go over and do the same stuff over again. So I'll, you know, just take my word for it. It, was, it wasn't a record cold spring, but it was a little bit chilly, especially across uh, the north. And, I mean, combine these three years and uh, three months, and you can see it'll be colder across the north with uh, generally warmer across the south. And then here you see is March through May. So basically what I just showed you, but from previous years that I found out to be fairly chilly. And obviously, um, you know, when, when I when I did a, uh, when I did an anomaly about uh, the this, this spring, I wanted to find, I went 
through every date year all the way back to 1981 and because she I uh, stopped in 1984 because that was the last cold spring and you may you know may seem oh look how look how look at this it's so skewed look at it it's way colder here than it was this spring I mean look at that or this compared to this that's not fair well I have a couple of things to point out first of all I, I uh, look at this I mean negative 1.5 and this is a completely different scale. Uh, as you can see, this is negative 4 degrees Celsius, and it's this, and this is negative 1.5. So this is obviously uh, on a much grander scale. You know, there's many years combined, so if there is some sort of anomaly, it's even if it's 0.3 of a degree, it's fairly significant. That's why the key of this map is very, very steep, or I should say very, very... Uh, very small by going up by small small increments 0.3 of a celsius while here is going up by a whole degree so that's one thing i want to point out second thing i want to point out is if i'm looking for winter or springs that are cold um you know i take the springs that are cold no spring that's warm across the north and they compile on top of each other so they end up creating an anomaly that's typically a little bit larger than uh what the spring actually was unless the spring was really cold and i you know that's just that's a little bit of the flaw that goes into making these data analogs but still they usually um are uh you know adjusted to that by that uh, by that scale or the increments so you can't see it right now because it's out of the recording screen but i'll try uh entering this in um okay okay uh you know what okay so you can see i think now you'll be able to see it march 2018 2014 so this is basically just i'll go through month by month of those specific years that i did right here 2018 2014 2009 um that's just basically march of that year or of that spring because remember this was march through may now this is the march this was the april and this was the may so you can see all of them were pretty chilly uh for these years combined but again i mean if you look at the uh, if you look at the scale uh uh, I mean, here is a little bit, uh, a little bit more drastic by increments, but overall, it's a much less frequent increment because of all the years combined. And when there is a difference like this, it's usually, you know, uh, significant, and they want to, they want to, you know, kind of emphasize that and exaggerate that by uh, putting these increments, which is, you know, fair, and that's how it's supposed to be. So, uh, I already showed you March through May, now I showed you each individual month, and this is how November played out for those months. So you could see 2018, 2014, 2009, 2003, 2002, 1997. Um, you could see that it's, I mean, it's, 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 in, frankly, it's kind of insane. I mean, you may be thinking that I've been making these videos just to get views and everything, but... I mean, I've been doing, you know, taking characteristics of our past spring and pa and the summer that's going on right now, and I've been or applying them to the winters that pre previously happened, and this is the data that I've been getting. This is raw data. It's not skewed in any way. So it's just the way that this summer, as of now, the analogs are really supporting a chilly, chilly winter. Um that's only one p piece of a forecasting uh, or a forecast so keep that in mind but I mean it's you know it's it's getting it's getting exciting um, you know for many is as I mean look at this this is November of those same years that had a really cold spring you can see 2018 2014 you can see very very chilly then the interesting thing is December was warm you could see the December was warm and if you recall this past year that just happened um, you can see 2018's on here, so that was what happened. You can see 2018, the November was very cold last year for uh, for at least the northern section. I mean, here we had uh, quite a bit big, you know, uh, quite a big snow event in November. I think we averaged around 14 inches in November, and then. In December, we had a big warm-up. I mean, we had literally, I think, three tenths of an inch of snow, and then January came back. We had more, uh, more, uh, more cold, a little bit more drastic than this. But you could see that all these years combined show a chilly January as well. And then the February is also very, very, very chilly, and um, chilliest of all. And this year, if you were to look at February, it was also the chilliest. And notice how one time I got a question for a viewer uh, asking why, you know, why do some uh, Arctic blasts are more west-oriented than east-oriented? That's a whole no topic for a whole different video. But notice how it's a similar orientation to what happened this past winter uh, towards the west. And uh, this is what the whole winter looked like, averaged out. So very interesting. Okay, the video will pause in just a couple of seconds.
And we are back, guys. So, I uh, just, that again, I saw, sorry, but that happens every time we go over 10 minutes, and I'll have to buy the, the full version, but I just can't get around to it. But you can see that November through March, uh, 2019, 2015, 2010, oh, same, same years, and you may be uh, wondering, you know, why, why is it one year ahead? Well, basically, the point is that uh, you could see if I, the thing is about these, uh, this website, this uh, physical science division, is that when uh, you put in a year that spans from November of the old year to say any month of the new year, you gotta put in the new year. Uh, so you could see 2014 or 2003 move it up to 2004 and so forth. So thank you guys so much for watching. Consider subscribing, consider liking the video. And I'll catch you all guys in the next episode. See ya. Bye.